What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Today we're taking a look at Ethereum and its recent price action, and make sure to watch the video till the end for a price prediction for the short and the long term as well. First things first, please smash the like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. YouTube is not pushing crypto content out currently and our subscribers aren't getting notifications, so make sure to join our free Telegram to stay up to date with all of our videos as they are posted. Links in the description. It really helps if you hit the like. We're posting four videos per day, so come back every day for daily updates and analysis. And make sure to comment down below for your chance to win a hardware wallet in our new monthly giveaway. We'd also like to thank you all so, so much for your support. We've just hit 10k subscribers, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, so just before we begin, we've had many reports that our subscribers aren't seeing our content, and this is most likely because you haven't hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon with all notifications turned on. Give it a tap now, turn on all notifications, and you'll most likely see most of our videos being posted. Also, if you want to support the channel, make sure to tap that like, it really, really helps us out. We're posting four videos per day, so make sure to check back every single day for daily updates. So we're just taking a look at Ethereum here. As we can see today, we're having a bit of a pullback here. From what we can tell, we did try to push up to around it, that $3,400 level. I just outlined this here as a little bit of resistance. <clears throat> and you can see, obviously, we've come across here. There's a decent order block here previously, which does look as though it's acting as resistance right now. And we are having a bit of a rollover and a correction uh, today, which is nice to see, because obviously we've just had a crazy amount of green candles in a row for Ethereum here. And it would be nice to see us coming back down, really, and retesting this... Uh, these previous levels of resistance into support again, because we've pretty much just ran away with things and not really tested any levels at all, have we? We've come up to here, absolutely smashed through this level here, which we thought would have been a decent resistance. We've obviously come up uh, come up to these levels here. We've had a little bit of consolidation for a few days here in this area, but as far as we're concerned, I mean, things have just gone up in a straight line, haven't they? And we've only just started really to have a bit of a consolidation and sideways phase, which we do think is very, 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 very essential when you look at you know how quickly ethereum has been going up as we've been saying in our past few videos we have been going up very similar to what we did here just before the crash and we do really want to see ourselves you know coming back down testing support here we've got this support level on this fibonacci retracement uh this fibonacci extension level sorry at 127 which do seem to be bouncing off of a support really nicely but obviously we do have that very strong support that previous uh, range high resistance flipped into support now so it would be really nice to see ourselves obviously Going back down, testing some of these levels, maybe consolidating for, you know, maybe a week or two before another leg to the upside, because it's quite clear that we've been going up pretty much in a straight line every day, a green candle. Obviously, that's great. Obviously, that's great uh, if you're an investor, but when you're thinking about the long term, it's obviously not sustainable to just have green candles every day and you do open yourself up to a massive crash because you're not really making any structure on the charts. So just do be aware, you know, that if we go up like this, we can just as easily come down like this if things start to turn against the market. So just something to be aware of. Obviously, we get a lot of stick for having these kinds of opinions, but we are just looking objectively at what we see. And obviously, we want Ethereum to go up as much as the next person because we do believe in these in cryptocurrency in the long term and obviously being invested in these projects. We do want to see them go up, but you have to be objective about what's actually happening with the charts. And obviously, price action like this is not sustainable. And if you do go, you can go up this fast, you can go down this fast is all we're saying. So just do be aware that if things do start to turn against Ethereum, it's not got that much support. Obviously, this uh, previous range high resistance flipped into support would be very, very strong in our opinion. Now that we've broken out and back tested it so thoroughly in this area here. But we do want to see, you know, maybe Ethereum cool off a little bit before our next leg up. Because if we do start to just keep going up in a straight line like this, we could potentially be looking at a monstrous crash if things do start to turn because there won't be much structural support created basically is what we're saying so things looking really good for ethereum right now though you can't deny that at over three thousand dollars things uh, things are feeling very good i mean if we'd have told you a few a month or so ago with ethereum at seventeen hundred dollars again double uh, double testing that bottom there that we were going to go you know up to three almost three thousand five hundred dollars in the next month most people would have gone no, we're in a bear market, we're going to zero. Ethereum's just gonna roll over, it's just gonna keep doing this. Basically, you know, all that nonsense that you do see on Twitter and YouTube and stuff, all those people that are just overly emotional and generally just bears. Obviously, there's always trolls as well. 
But you know, when when you look objectively at the chart at the time, for example, if we just uh, if we just scroll across here, let's just do this for example. So this is our chart. If I can actually, you know, stop grabbing random stuff. This is our chart here. You see this? Everyone's thinking, okay, you know, Ethereum rolling over, rolling over, rolling over. It's going to zero. But obviously, you can see there's a really good amount of support in this area. And we've actually triple tested this. Come down here, test it. Come down, test it. Come down, test it. And there was a lot of people going, we're in a bear market, it's a descending triangle, eventually it's going to go down. But obviously, considering, you know, we've got all these bullish divergences as well, on our histogram, on our RSI, etc, etc, and a monstrous bullish divergence for Bitcoin as well, it seemed likely in our opinion that we were going to get that bounce. And obviously, once we started to see this, where the price action is starting to come up again, basically forming that W double bottom, and, you know, we're breaking through the 20 and the 55 here, looking really bullish, you're starting to think, okay, well, we've broken out of this resistance here, We've come down, we've back tested again, perfectly a double bottom. Obviously, these there's bullish divergences all over the place here, bullish divergence here. Histogram looking good as well. So obviously lots and lots to be um to be optimistic about. And you know, when everyone was so bearish, we were bullish because you know basically we look at the charts objectively, and a lot of people are going probably thinking, you know, with their hearts and going, oh my god, everything's going to zero in a bear market. Probably listening to a lot of the FUDs out there as well getting caught up in the rigmarole of everything's going down. But obviously when you look at these charts objectively and you look at all these bullish divergences, obviously it looks as though we are forming, we formed a really nice double bottom at the time. We've broken out of a key level of resistance there. We broke out the 20 and we rolled over, but we found support again and we were nearing the bottom of the channel. In our opinion, there were a lot of confluences for a potential bounce to the upside, just like there was with Bitcoin. And you know, when a Bitcoin went below 30K, everyone went, oh, it's the bear market. It's finally here. Sell everything and then Basically, you know, the most ridiculous short squeeze you've ever seen all the way up to the top of the range high. And, you know, the same thing for Ethereum here. We just absolutely smashed all the way up out of our range that we were in previously, which was looking something like this. And now, you know, we came back down, we back tested it. And now it looks as though we are just having a cooling off period, aren't we? Because that's really what we need to see for continuation. So, you know, there's a lot to be learned, really, by looking at the charts. We would say you could glean a lot of information that a lot of people won't be telling you, obviously. A lot of people look at stuff going down and they just think it's going to go down forever. But as we always like to say, the market is like an elastic band and the more oversold that you do get, the more chance of that reversal. And you can see all over the place here, there's a bullish divergence here. You know, we've got really, really, really oversold on our histogram. But you can see this whole time we've had a really nice bullish divergence, momentum to the downside lessening. So lots of confluences, you could say, also breaking out of resistance here and breaking the 20, even though we did roll over again. You can see we're showing signs of life, weren't we? And we pretty much came down, you could say came down and basically retested this previous resistance as support as well. Also hitting the bottom of this macro channel we've been in as well. So lots of confluences to the upside and, you know, we got the reward, didn't we? Massive move to the upside. So if we take a look at um, the hourly time frame here for that short term price prediction, it does look as though we are moving up, you know, in a nice little channel like this now, having a bit of a cooling off period after this huge, you know, really, really bullish move to the upside. So it's nice to see us potentially, you know, putting in a range here for a, maybe a few days at least, just because things are really getting really overextended from what we can tell. But, you know, if we do start to break this resistance here at around the $3,350 level, do anticipate at least coming up to around this $3,600 level, maybe upwards of $3,900 up here. Because these would be our next uh, structural targets if we break this level here, which we're looking at, obviously coming up to here or here. But if we do start to roll over, uh, do anticipate, as we always said, uh, in the last few videos. This uh, Fibonacci level does look as though it's providing good support at around $3,050. Obviously, 3K is going to be a strong psychological support as well. And we do have a very strong structural support at around $2,900, which would be that previous that previous range high, which we've broken out of and tested as back, as back tested as support here. So if we did roll over, for example, and put a range in, you would expect this $2,900 level to be a very strong level of support. Obviously, if we do start to come back inside this range, they do anticipate if we do, you know, start getting caught under this range, we could be rolling over here looking for lower prices if we do start to break down that low. So, you know, plenty of interesting levels for Ethereum currently. We do think those would be our short term price predictions and targets. And obviously, we do think by the end of the bull run, it's very, very possible we're going to be hitting 10K, probably more probable than possible, we would say at this point, considering we're over three, 3K, it's only, you know, a three and a bit X from here very, very achievable. And we do think 15 or 20K could be possible. When you look at our, uh, basically, you know, the top of our channel we've been in here, 
definitely possible if we're going into December, January time for the end of the bull run. Looking at that 15 to 20k level could definitely be on the cards. So that's our update today, guys. We'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, please let us know down in the comments section below. Please make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can keep up to date with all of our videos. Remember to comment down below and be subscribed to enter into our brand new monthly giveaway for a hardware wallet. If you'd like to support the channel more directly, please sign up to our Patreon via the link in the description below or sign up to YouTube membership by hitting the join button right next to the sub below this video where you can get access to our private discord. We're offering coin calls, one to one access to us personally, insight into our personal portfolio, daily research of crypto assets with massive potential and access to our brand new 100x portfolio with so many benefits you might as well check it out below. Don't forget to get two free stocks with Weeble by signing up and then depositing $100 using our link in the description below. You can quite literally deposit the $100, get your two free stocks and then withdraw the money. So there's no reason not to do that and they could be valued all the way up to $1,600 each. But don't forget to actually deposit as well after signing up, otherwise you won't receive the second stock. Scammers get worse every day so make sure to protect yourself and your crypto online with pure VPN. Sign up below for some big discounts. You can get access to block content and protect yourself from phishing scams with super low monthly payments and high quality speeds. You can also sign up to our free telegram via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto. So go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximalist.